Joe Biden's ongoing surrender to China is picking up speed as John Kerry is now going to China to wave the white flag. You know, John Kerry has this history of climate hysteria where he has the rhetoric of impending doom and disaster. This Democrat's obsession with the climate is undermining our nation's safety, our strength, our security, and Joe Biden is playing right into China's hands. He wants all of these Americans to be forced to buy expensive electric cars and to use only energy that has no carbon attached to it. Let me point out that just three days before Secretary Yellen got to China, China choked off the export of critical minerals that are used in semiconductors, part of our supply chain, solar panels as well. Joe Biden continues to kowtow to the climate extremist in this country by not allowing us to drill and find and mine for critical minerals that are so necessary for our supply chain. We ought to be able to divest our, and diversify our supply chain, get it away from China, but Joe Biden wants to just give China the upper hand. That's what's happening. To make matters worse, Joe Biden has now told his EPA to prioritize climate over energy that is affordable, available, and reliable. Every time Joe Biden has one of these climate concessions, America gets poorer, China gets richer. So whatever they tell John Kerry and whatever he chooses to embrace from China, we cannot as Americans be deceived. China is focused on their economy. And their economy has to be run on cheap energy, and the backbone of their energy in China is coal. The carbon footprint in China is more than twice that of the United States. Theirs is growing, ours is shrinking. China is not going to give up their economy for the environment. China right now has 306 new coal-fired power plants, either in construction or being planned. So regardless of what line that Kerry and Biden may bite into hook, line, and sinker, their path of the Democrats in terms of energy and national security is total surrender. If you want a responsible energy policy, we need to use all the energy and we need to make it as clean as we can, as fast as we can, and do it in ways that don't raise costs for American families.